Greetings, everyone, and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics of the federal Chicago trial and the federal Brooklyn appeal. Today is August the 22nd, 2022. And from what CBS has encrypted on today's trial, I'm going to let you hear a little bit about that. We're going to talk a little bit to Jane. We are going to also give a message to Robert today. So um, thank you so much for being here, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the podcast. Let's get right into what CBS um, analyst has to say about the trial today. Trial. The jury today watched what prosecutors say is child porn involving the singer. CBS 2's Tara Molina tells us only the jury saw those videos. Only the jury. A number of big black screens were placed around the jury to block the monitors they were watching, also blocking their reaction to those videos. They were played snippets from three different videos, 30 minutes total. You're looking at a sketch of the jury in R. Kelly's federal trial watching the videos reportedly child pornography. The judge ruled against prosecutors who asked for a closed courtroom. We heard earlier in the trial, Jane, described as the pivotal witness in this case, is 14 years old in the tapes played in court. In those videos, prosecutors say Jane describes her 14-year-old body parts while engaging in sex acts with Kelly. In the second video, Jane testified Kelly urinated on her. We also heard the cross-examination of Jane, 37 now. Our Kelly's defense questioned her repeatedly about her relationship with Kelly and documented contact between them all the way up to January of 2019. Kelly's attorney confirming Jane lived with Kelly and his wife in her early 20s, the three of them sexually involved. The financial help she received from Kelly after ending things and moving out at 26, intimate times together after the breakup, and finally going over friendly text message exchanges between Jane and Kelly from 2018 and 2019, including texts Jane sent before and after the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly was released in January 2019 asking directly why after all these years and a continued relationship, she's coming forward and testifying now. Jane said at one point, I no longer wanted to carry his lies. When pushed by Kelly's attorneys on the possibility of restitution paid to her, should Kelly be convicted, Jane said that paid no part in her testifying here in this trial. And she said she hasn't decided yet whether she'll seek restitution. This trial expected to last. So Jane, now, Jane, 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 now you want to get even more money from Robert after he's taken care of you, after he's taken care of your family, you want even more. I guarantee you that you're going to go and try to get um, compensation from him from this situation. It's so sad. You went down in history as being deceitful. Jane, Jane, Jane. You know, you're not a victim. You're not a victim. And to get try to get more compensation from this man, he was not there to be there for you 100% at all areas of the word. You manipulated the situation. And I feel that this is extortion, Jane. I feel this extortion. So today is 822 and I'm going to read my journal entry today. There is nowhere to heal but within. You're sad, Jane. And I don't want to talk to you anymore right now. I don't have anything to say to you or anyone that's connected to you. Dear Robert, I hope my voice finds you in a good health, in a good place. Right now, health is about all that should matter to you. People are saying that they truly understand that you are not being given a fair trial. 
nor did you receive one in New York. But hold your head up high and keep believing, keep knowing you should not be the only person incarcerated for all the things that the people who surrounded you seem to now have an epiphany to express their victimology. They've done far worse than you could ever do based on even what they're claiming you have done. Your wife, Andrea Kelly, she kept her back there on that bus reading her Bible. Because when you gave it to her, honey, she went buck wow. But most importantly, she has turned your children away from their father. You got me asking questions. Maybe they should get tested to see if anybody was messing with them other than you. We are not talking about you, Robert. We're talking about that baby mama. You know, certain things that she just do, the way she turned on you, the way that she manipulated that situation. We need to be getting those your children tested, sweetheart. No amount of money, Robert, could have made any of us do half the things that the people around you did to you. I can say for myself, I didn't do it to my own children's fathers when I had the chance to do it. And I would have been in the right. Nor did you go all over the world dropping your seed with this woman, that woman to take care for them to take care of your children all by themselves. You created music. You promoted love. You made the world fruitful as you made Grammy hits. Robert, we hear the news and we see the social media painting this picture of you being negative $2 million, but worth billions. This is what the community has resorted to. You are priceless, Robert. Please remember this when you go to trial when you sit here and watch those people lie and say all manner of evil against you, you are priceless. You are priceless. No one believes you are going to rise like you are going to rise. So keep dreaming your dreams. And I can only imagine how dreams of the best times on stage is in your vivid color. <laughs> Everybody calling Robert R. Kelly, R. Kelly <laughs> at your sold out concerts. Them people was hating on that. I can only imagine how you travel away from your place in astral projection to take you where you want to be around all the greatness that embraces you. You may want to be there physically and can't but in the physical, but you are able to do whatever to empower yourself through this projection. I did that so many times while I was incarcerated. Visualize my physical being walking through my house, in my bed, in my kitchen, cooking, doing my podcast. And it was all about, you know, just being there in that moment. Hold on. About four weeks. Reporting outside Dirksen Federal Courthouse, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. I don't know what's going on, but my mind is everywhere and I just can't stay focused right now. But Robert, then coming back and awakening to the bunk in the dormitory. <laughs> so these people were here waiting for you, for your future self to grow from 1994, then they used and manipulated what they were able to get from you. Then they conjured up and created this mischief for this day today. The very essence of what you are facing in trial today. I don't know what's going on, but my mind is everywhere and I just can't stay focused right now. But Robert, 
then coming back and awakening to the bunk in the dormitory. <laughs> so these people were here waiting for you, for your future self to grow from 1994. Then they used and manipulated what they were able to get from you. Then they conjured up and created this mischief for this day today. The very essence of what you are facing in trial today. They created traps. They set all types of things to trip you up. And you may have found yourself only to be alone to take you out of your king's throne. But you're still a king. They had many people help them do this to you too. But remember, no weapon formed has prospered yet. You're still alive. You're still in your right mind. You're still, you know, even though they're talking about your health, you're still healthy. That's why I say in this journal, what was the title? There's nowhere to heal but within. So you're healing. You're healing. And this is one of the most profound areas of healing that is taking place that anyone could actually take the time to do. But no weapon formed. It feels like a deja vu state as I write these journals to you on this podcast. Give them something to record, Robert. Your old songs are supposed to come back and haunt you. This was your life, though. Let no one take that away from you. We value all you have done, given, created, and what you have yet to create. You know we are here for you, Robert. Kelly Nation, let's show him some love in the chat as he goes through what he's going through. He is not alone. I'm going to leave 10 minutes in, in the chat box for you guys to type up some things, feelings that you feel, feelings of Andrea Kelly. I really and truly feel that she wasn't just sitting in the back there Bible thumping. She was faking the funk because we see her twerking and tweaking now, but she eloquently creates what is known as ballet, ballet, you know. So, yeah, I want us to talk about that. You know, I'm getting my technology together and I might just go live soon again and I might just be able to handle the platform. But right now I need to put this into perspective to where there is no issues coming um, when we have an opportunity and I just want to get some information from my subscribers and chat in and check in, then I will definitely go live. I'll try it once again. <laughs> Let's see what happens. But anyway, thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. I do apologize for being so late today, but I got it out. That's all that matters. I got it out. <laughs> all right, peace. And always remember, Kelly Nation, we down. We down until we down like four flat ties and we ain't going to stop rolling till the air is out of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Peace and blessings. And don't forget, 10 minutes. It is now, um, I want to say, well, we're going to start 10 minutes from right now. So whatever you think about, make sure you throw in the chat so we'll have this as a live presentation. And our um, student She'll be coming on. So I just want to keep everybody posted on that. God bless. And as always, keep it 100.